Hello everybody, recently I was going down the scary video rabbit hole on YouTube and I came across a Nick Crowley video titled YouTube's Darkest Cult. As you might imagine, the video was about a cult that was found here on YouTube, but they're not just on YouTube, they basically live on YouTube, they communicate via YouTube comments, they upload their rituals onto YouTube videos, and it even originated on YouTube. So right away, we know that whatever this cult is, it wasn't made 10,000 years ago in a pyramid. So for a couple reasons that I'll get into later, the people that know about it would definitely refer to it as a say satanic cult and it's based around a ritual called blood over intent and what they think this ritual achieves is it basically proves that you're alive and it gets your name into the book of life and you want that because they believe that something terrible something apocalyptic is going to happen soon and the only way to survive is by doing the ritual and getting your name into this book of life so your spiritual body can be transported to the garden of eden to live in luxury for all eternity while the rest of earth just burns. I don't know. It's theoretical. Also, before we dig any deeper into this rabbit hole, I would just like to mention that it has nothing to- Why was that so fast? Before we dig any deeper into this rabbit hole, I would just like to mention that this has absolutely nothing to do with the satanic temple, which is an actual religion. Just want to separate those two things before we get started. So to perform this ritual that apparently is going to save our lives, all you must do is write out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. That is your intent. Some people write more than that, some people put their own twist on it, but that is the basic thing that you have to write on a piece of paper. Then you must sign the paper with your blood, or as a lot of them would say, spiritual currency, because you're putting your blood over your intent, and that's why it's called blood over intent. And optionally, you can burn the paper when you're done. How cute. However, the final step is to upload it to YouTube and get witnesses and the witnesses basically confirm that you are in the book of life as soon as someone sees you doing this boom you're on you're on the list you're not gonna die but don't just take my word for it here's a well-respected member of the organization talking about it the kingdom of heaven is built with hands of flesh this is because the physical world dominates the spiritual world you have a spiritual body anchored to a physical body, and so you have a say in what happens to you. When 144,000 people come back to life, I'm going there in the flesh. If you want to come with us, you're going to look up blood over intent and become blood thick with us so that we can cross the frost bridge together into the Garden of Eden. Blood over intent is the end game of alchemy. It is passage back into paradise. Write out on paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Sign it with your spiritual marker, your blood. This is spiritual currency and funds your intent. Do it on video and post it online for witnesses. Your proof of life is now on its way to be woven into reality. Now there are a lot of these blood over intent videos, just put blood over intent into the YouTube search bar, click on any one, go into the comments, click on any of the commenters, they will have videos doing blood over intent. And it just keeps going, comment videos, comment videos, it literally doesn't stop. And I am using that word right because I have not found the end, alright? It literally doesn't stop. However, among the top results for Blood Over Intent, you will find a few people making fun of the ritual, many of which think they're being original by writing the thing on the paper, putting it in the toilet, and peeing on it. That's quite frequent, actually. And while these videos do get a mass amount of dislikes and a lot of hate comments from the cult itself, you know, they, they're just taking the piss. So I know what you're thinking. This thing is kind of weird, but... Where did it come from? The first person to do a Blood Over Intent video was a YouTuber called Quasi Luminous, and he claims to be the reincarnation of the devil. Quasi Luminous says that there is roughly only 144,000 names in the Book of Life, and they have all signed by doing the Blood Over Intent ritual. One of the most interesting things about the Quasi Luminous YouTube channel is the way that he tries to get the word out about Blood Over Intent. For example, here's Jim Carrey talking about Blood Over Intent. And suddenly, I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. I was no longer a fragment 
of the universe. I was the universe. Obviously, Jim Carrey wasn't talking about blood over intent there because he didn't mention it once, but this is kind of a reoccurring theme on the Quasi Luminous YouTube channel. He, he does make up a lot of things to get the word out. Quasi Luminous and most of his followers also have some pretty controversial opinions like the Earth is flat, we're living in the Matrix, and the government are lizards. So, what role do I play in all this? Well, I thought it would be fun for this video to join the cult because, you know, well, why not? They, they seem fine. So, I'll be making a new fake YouTube channel under the genius alias of Jackson Silver, the profile picture of which is actually some fan art done by Snikey. Thank you, Snikey. So what am I actually gonna do? Well, I'm gonna try and get my way into the cult by making videos performing the rituals. I'm gonna talk very highly of the cult so no one sniffs me out as a potential threat. I'm gonna learn the inside language so I can communicate with the cult in the comments section, and we're gonna see what we can learn from being inside a satanic cult, and what we can learn from leaving the cult, because at the end of all this, I'm gonna put out a video stating that the cult has the wrong beliefs and they're doing the wrong thing, and also, I'm gonna diss Quasi Luminous just to see what kind of reaction that would stir up. But before we can do any of that, we actually have to perform the ritual, so let's, uh, let's do that. Before I start, please don't judge my handwriting. I know it's bad. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but that is the result of almost never writing on paper. All I have to kind of get my blood flowing out of my finger with is this sincerely me pin. Well, this is probably gonna really hurt. Ah, uh, did that even do it? Ow. Oh, oh, why did I do this on my right hand? There's definitely a little bit of blood. If I could just make it go onto the paper like they do in the videos, that'd be good. Okay, something tells me that they were looking for a little bit more blood. Okay, so in the last attempt, there was not nearly enough blood for it to really pass as a signing, I think. And also, uh, another fatal mistake is I didn't film it to upload to YouTube, which is really important because that means you get witnesses or something. Problem is, I don't really want to use my own blood, and I know a few of you blood-hungry viewers out there are going to be disappointed, and believe me, if it was someone else doing this video, I'd be disappointed too. But Instead, I got beetroot juice, because that's the closest thing to fake blood that I have. I've already written the thing, so you don't have to watch the painful process of me trying to write. Really, all I gotta do is film me dripping blood from my fingers onto the paper and make it look like I cut myself. This is a weird video. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Okay, so I think that might cut it if I cut out the bit where I'm kind of just dripping blood from the exterior of my hand because that doesn't happen. But uh, I, overall, I think it could work, maybe? So after spending a total of some time commenting on other people's Blood Over Intent ritual videos, I managed to get some views, likes, and comments on my own Blood Over Intent video. Something that I've noticed in the comments throughout this entire thing, really, is the phrase blood thick. I think it's kind of their greeting. They'll be like, hey, hehe, <laughs> blood thick, dude. Someone commenting on my video even said, blood thick family, welcome to truth. So I'm gonna take that as the fact that uh, I'm in. No one thought it was fake, no one sniffed me out, and uh, someone told me I was welcome to truth. So yeah, I think I'm in. Success. But I haven't really gained any notoriety. There are thousands, maybe tens of thousands of Blood Over Intent ritual videos, but the ones that get real street cred in the Blood Over Intent community are the people advocating and supporting the actual ritual itself. Much like the one that I showed you at the start of this video. Definition of advocating. Publicly, right? Yeah, okay. So you know what? I went ahead and made one and people are agreeing with it and it got the channel all the way to five subscribers and you know, for two days having the channel, that's actually, that's actually not too bad and to average around 40 views a video, that's really good for a channel with five subscribers. So I don't know, maybe doing satanic rituals is a hack for growing your YouTube channel. I'm just saying. Someone commented saying that's 100% correct. They're the lizards. Not us. We're getting out of this hologram alive. Blood thick, family. So at this point, I'm really feeling like, you know, I'm a part of the community. I'm accepted into the family, and everybody's leaving very nice comments. In fact, I haven't seen a single mean comment on the entire channel. Apart from this one idiot that just said no. 
know what? <laughs> Shut up, dude. But if they've been nice to me during my stay, then I'm at least gonna be polite on my way out. So I made a video kinda saying that the cult was bad, and I sort of dissed Quasi Luminous. I, I did it 50% less than what I was planning to do going into it. I'm not too fond of Quasi Luminous, because after really digging into his stuff, I found that a lot of the blood over intent propaganda is fake. So after giving that video some time to get some views, it really shows that people don't care if I'm leaving. One person actually said that I was wrong and blood over intent is good, but they did it pretty politely, they didn't offend me or anything, so yeah, honestly, from my experience, this, these are nice people. However, I've seen firsthand and in Nick Crowley's original video that other people that try to leave the cult and get more views on their video often get mass disliked and a lot of hate comments from the cult. And actually, some people trying to leave the cult actually got the attention of Quasi Luminous himself, and for anyone that forgot, that's the devil. So in conclusion, this doesn't seem to be a very harmful cult or community or whatever you want to call it. It's just the misinformation, people using too much blood and the mass dislikes and hate comments and stuff on people trying to leave. Okay, maybe it is a tiny bit harmful if you don't really know what you're doing, but now you do. So if you want to join Blood Over Intent, then uh, go ahead if you, if you really want to. To conclude the conclusion, everybody is nice to each other generally, so... That's kind of cute, and that is my closing statement. So I would now like to thank each and every individual one of you for watching. If you want to join the Discord server and talk, uh, then you can. It's linked in the description, and it's pretty great. We started it pretty recently, and I like it. If you like this video, please feel free to press the corresponding button. As always, I'll be responding to every single comment. I sincerely hope that you have a nice day.